Okay, so in this Godot tutorial, we are in me going over inverting colors in the engine. So right now I have my own project, and you can see that it's inverting all the colors on screen just using this, this uh, color rectangle. It does it all on the screen just with one shader. You don't have to apply shaders to each of the sprites. It just does it all and goes through each of the pixels on the screen. So we're going to go over how to do that. Right now I have a semi-empty project that just has a sprite and a color rectangle, and the sprite is just this uh, image of this game and the color rectangle we want to resize the size of our screen so it's going to be 1280 by 720 at least for me you're going to probably have something different for yours and you're going to see it's all white but now we need to apply an invert colors shader to it so do new shader material then you want to do the new shader and then we're going to type in all of our stuff so again this applies to the entire uh, screen doesn't need to be a parent node of anything so it's really nice not having to apply it to each of the sprites so now we do shader type we're going to specify the type of shader which is the canvas item then the render mode is unshaded because we are not working with 3d and we're going to set up our void fragments and we're going to do that or brackets then we're setting a vector for C, which is our color, which we get from extracting the color values of the entire screen, which is screen texture. You want that in all caps. Then you want screen UV, and then you want zero, zero. Okay. And also specifying the point zero is vital because it gets mad at you if you don't use a float value. Okay, and we do RGBA, so we also get the alpha value. So if the spray had alpha values and we didn't do this, what would happen is the alpha would become completely white and it looks weird. So that's why we're doing that. Then we do color.r for the red value equals 1.0. Make sure you do the 0.0 minus uh, our color red value. This is how we invert our colors is we're subtracting 1.0 from each color value. So we're going to do the same for the blue value and no, we're, we're going to actually... I'm going to do that for the green value. You know, it makes more sense to RGB and not RBG. Okay, so now we're subtracting one from each of the values, which essentially colors in Godot does not go from 0 to 255 like normal. It actually goes to 0 to 1, so that's why we're subtracting one. And we do color in all caps, RGBA equals color. So now we're setting the entire color on the screen to the color, and you can see everything on the screen is now inverted. And this is applied to a color rectangle, not just a sprite. So now we can have multiple sprites in the scene not having to apply shaders, and it all works. So, glad you guys watched the video. Um, please like if you liked the video. And uh, feel free to jump down into the Discord in the description. We have lots of awesome people that can help out with uh, Godot issues, including me. We can all help out, and it's, there's a lot of great people in there. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.